Boeing India has showcased its F-15EX fighter jet in Indian Air Force colors at the ongoing Defence Expo 2022. Boeing has also awarded a contract for manufacturing assemblies for its F-15EX to India's Dynamatic Technologies, where aerostructures for the latest and most advanced F-15EX Eagle II will be made in India. Boeing has also announced that it will collaborate with the public sector Medani Group, to develop raw materials for aerospace parts and components in the country. The RDO's Aeronautical Development Agency has showcased a scale model of AMCA stealth fighter jet at the Defence Expo, along with a cockpit simulator of the AMCA. The project director of AMCA program Dr. A.K. Ghosh has said, that Aeronautical Development Agency will complete the critical design review of the AMCA stealth fighter by December, that will result in the clearance of the official grant for the program in early 2023. He also said, that the rollout of the prototype will happen by mid of 2025, followed by the first flight by end of 2026. Garuda Aerospace has showcased a 1s to 1 scale model of its new Vajra Stealth drone at the Defence Expo 2022. The company has said, that all the technology for the program will be developed in-house, and a working prototype will be fabricated in near future. It will be powered by HAL-developed PTAE-7 turbojet engine, while Lockheed Martin Canada CDL systems will be providing advanced UAS software solutions for the program. The Vajra will have an endurance of 6 hours, and it can carry small drone-launched munitions in its internal weapons bay. Paras Aerospace has showcased its Griffin UCAF at the Defence Expo, which is currently in the design stage. Company officials have said, that it will have an all-up weight of 5 tons, and will be powered by two turboprop engine that can carry a payload of 1.2 tons. It will have a range of 7,500 km, a top speed of 400 km per hour, an endurance of 25 hours and an operational altitude of 10,700 meters. <laughs> Munitions India Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with Norway's Namo Group at the Defence Expo 2022, for the production of select medium and large caliber ammunition. NAMO has a long history of producing high-performing artillery ammunition, and has developed a ramjet-powered guided artillery shell with a range of up to 150 km, that can be fired from any standard 155mm howitzer. Bharat Forge has signed a memorandum of understanding with General Atomics of the US, and both companies will collaborate on lithium-ion battery system for submarine programs of the Indian Navy. Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited has announced, that it is working on indigenous submarine propulsion shafting and steering system. Kalyani Group has also announced, that it has invested the capital to set up the world's largest artillery manufacturing facility in India, that will be capable of producing one artillery gun every day. Indian public sector firm Munitions India Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with WB Electronics India Private Limited, which is an Indian subsidiary of Polish firm WB Electronics, for collaboration in the area of loitering munition. It is to be noted that Polish firm WB Electronics had delivered 100 WOM-8 loitering munition to the Indian Army's Special Forces in June this year, and a large order is also expected. Eyeing the 350 light tanks requirement of the Indian Army, Israel's Elbit Systems has offered its Sabra light tank variant to India with full transfer of technology to the Indian industry. It features a 120mm gun, automatic loader, remote-controlled weapon station with 12.7mm heavy machine gun, iron vision see-through armor technology and active protection system. The chairman of Solar Industries has said, that the company will deliver four Pinnaker batteries to Armenia within two years, and that Nigeria and Indonesia have also expressed interest in the Pinnaker multi-barrel rocket launcher. 
The Defence Minister of Armenia also visited the Defence Expo yesterday and has expressed interest to order Tatu ALS-50 loitering munitions for its special force units that has recently cleared user trials by the Indian Army. A high-level delegation from Bahrain visited the pavilion of Bharat Dynamics at the Defence Expo, and they were briefed on the Cheyenne Advanced Lightweight Torpedo, Varun Astra Heavyweight Torpedo and Torbuster Anti-Torpedo Decoy System. Bharat Dynamics also briefed the visiting Armenian Defence Minister on a MOG 380GM, Akash Surface to Air Defence System, and Star Streak Laser Beam Riding Man Pad System. Thank <laughs> you.